Hello and welcome back to the Geek on My Sleeve channel. Today we're going to be doing a video of how to get stereo mix on your Windows 10 PC as well as a possible alternative for you. And this video came about because I have answered this question several times. I did a how to get your audio through your microphone video and a lot of people didn't have stereo mix. And I've also had a couple people who have helped troubleshoot it prior. So I figure why not make a video? So thank you to the community for the comments. Much appreciated. Here we go. Jumping into PC view. Alrighty. So big secret reveal is update audio drivers. Alrighty. So first step. Just click your search bar on your Windows and type in system information. Then I bring it up. And then what you're looking for is baseboard. And so just take a look at the baseboard manufacturer because typically you'll be routed to their site. And then what we need is baseboard product. So then now that you've got your baseboard product, you're going to open up your handy dandy browser of choice. You're going to plug in what you see for your baseboard product. Make sure they match up. Go to the manufacturer page. And on the manufacturer page, you're going to see support. So after you navigate over to the support page, um, you'll see drivers, OS or just different drivers. So find the highest version of your audio drivers, your Realtek high definition audio drivers. Go ahead and download them. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna go through the process. It's pretty straightforward. You download it, you execute it. Um, you will have to restart your PC. After you restart your PC, um, you can go ahead and check if you've got the stereo mix. So. Click opposite, click your speaker icon, sound settings, sound control panel, and then under recording, you should see stereo mix. Um, should also make sure that you have show disabled devices because it comes normally disabled. So make sure you check show disabled devices and then bam, should have stereo mix. Now, if you've done the restart and you still don't have it, you may have to hit your control alt delete, bring up your task manager, and go to your startup. Now, it should already be going, but if it's not, you want to make sure that whichever one it is for your drivers, the Realtek HD audio manager is enabled on startup because if it doesn't initialize, then it's just not gonna work. And then the alternative, go back to our handy dandy web browser of choice, and we're gonna type in VB cable, which essentially it's a virtual audio cable and should be top one from vb-audio.com. And this is donationware. So it, the first one is free and it is exactly the same as what we've shown through Stereo Mix where you'll have an input, you'll have an output, put sound in one side, it'll come out the other side. And then you can use that as your microphone so you can get your desktop audio and your mic to come through. Um, these guys are amazing. The first one's free. And then if you need more cables for whatever reason, um, you can get a two pack by donating. Great. Uh, these guys also do voice meter, voice meter, banana, voice meter, potato. If you don't know what that is, that's a whole separate trap that I may or may not be getting into. Um, great product. Essentially, it's a virtual mixer like you would see any other mixer. Um, it's a m more in-depth way to route your audio 
and to add effects and utilize MIDI controllers and yeah, it's it's a lot more. Um, we're just here for the audio cable. Same, same old song and dance. You'll download it. You'll run the file. You'll restart your PC. Um, the only thing with the cable that you might run into. Go ahead and open up sound settings again. Sound control panel. Recording. So the cable logically is backwards at first. So you've got one in your playback. Which is your input which in playback, it's your speakers or your headphones. So for me, I always think of it as an output because that's where the sound's coming out. But for the way we're utilizing it or the way the cable works, it's actually the input because you'll send sound to the input and it will come out the recording, which is typically an input as an output and that's how you can utilize it as your microphone so that was a little backwards or felt backwards for me but it is accurate just a heads up if you are utilizing it as well as you should go through all of your devices for your microphones and make sure they're all set to the same uh hertz so 48,000 there for that uh, the bit depth can vary but you want to make sure they're set to the same Hertz and then for like my stereo mix I've got it set to 48,000 Hertz as well and the reason you want to go through all your devices and make sure that your they're all set to the same frequency is because if they're not it's going to sound like garbage you're going to get a bunch of staticking popping it may just crash your drivers altogether so that's just another one of those random things that uh, I had a couple set different and took me forever to figure out how to fix. So there you go.